morning, Buenos Dias. Thank you for attending our safety meeting. As you all know, we are going through a uh, safety culture shift, and I would like to introduce the owner of Associated Construction, Mr. Joe Jankowski. We'd like to have a few words with y'all. Morning. Thanks for giving me the podium. Sure. So as Dave said, I'm Joe Jankowski, president of Associated Construction Company. And uh, you know, Associated sets the lead for safety on all of our job sites. So you know, we have the responsibility of setting the lead, the tone, setting the standard for uh, safety throughout. And it's, it's our job to support your efforts as well as our own efforts in, in having an effective safety program. We want the better for everybody. You know, we want everybody to go home at night and we want everybody to work safe. We want to look out for each other and we want to create a supportive atmosphere where, where we up our game universally on this job site with our safety program. We're going to do that through a pattern of awareness, education, accountability, support, and feedback. And you know, we want you all to participate with us to help us and get bought into our our stepped up level of uh, love of safety awareness and uh, enforcement. And uh, I, I, I truly feel that you know we can all do that. We all owe that to ourselves. Again, we want to go home at night and be with our families rather than spending several days in the hospital or worse. So that's our program here, and I'm here to. Uh, address that because I think it's important to show that Associated is committed and uh, we are going to have a, a more successful safety campaign out here. Thanks. Thank you, Joe. Okay, guys, um, I'll, I'll start by saying uh, from this vantage point this morning, Thanks. I, I see some safe things happening. I see a lot of you have your personal PPE, your high vis and the rest of your safety uh, equipment. Uh, from this vantage point, I could see a very good anchor point on that building where the cider was working. When he left the, the basket, he was 100% tied off on all aspects, so that was very good. Uh, down there, I could see where there's guardrails missing, but the doors are locked with caution tape, and that person was also tied off. So again, there is a lot of things that you guys are doing right but it takes a lot of focus every day to maintain that. Uh, so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and read this toolbox talk. Uh, this uh, toolbox talk is uh, struck by and equipment and falling objects. So uh, to get started, here's an example. Uh, in March 2017, a laborer was picking up debris uh, at a construction site. A forklift was lifting a pile of lumber to the third floor next to him. The lumber was not secured and fell three stories from the forklift. One board struck the employee in the head and he was wearing a hard hat, but the incident left him with a concussion. One, what would you have done to prevent this incident? Obviously, we don't work under uh, activities above us and we have to cr create zones when, we have, uh, when we're doing overhead work. Um, are materials regularly being lifted by heavy equipment to upper levels on your work sites? Yes, we have that here, so we have to pay close attention to that. You know, controlled access zones are very important, so if we're lifting or hoisting, come in with a good plan and make sure it's, uh, you know, uh, all things are activated properly. Um, planning is quintessential to being safe. Um, so, if so, what do you do to protect yourself when walking through the site? What do you do to protect others? Always keep your eyes open and be on guard. This is a very dangerous environment that we all work in and don't think it can't happen to you because it can. I was on a job site where a man was killed when he was backed over by the Porta John truck. So don't think it can't happen to you. It's out there waiting to get you, so please. Be aware of every portion of your environment. Uh, prevent being struck by equipment or objects. Loads should not be hoisted or allowed to pass over people. Loads need to be secured when lifted by forklifts, cranes, or any sort of material mover. 
Hard hats can, be, can help minimize injuries to the head and therefore also protect your spine. Toe boards need to be placed on all scaffolding, unprotected sides or edges, and open elevations and open elevations to protect workers below. Um, these are put in place uh, to protect from falling materials such as lumber, brick, tools, debris, nuts and bolts, nails, screws, and equipment. Materials should be stacked and secured appropriately and not leaning or ready to topple over. Tools in elevated work areas need to be secured secured if close to any changing in elevation. There are new and improved tool lanyards available. Even when, even when taking all the above cautions, items can shift. Winds can gust or change. Workers can lose their grip. Someone could accidentally kick an object or any number of things could happen to allow objects to become airborne and drop to lower levels. So listen to, listen and watch as you walk the site. Get off the cell phone, remove the earbuds, or lower the volume of the music. Let's talk about this job site record notes. Let's talk about this job site, record notes, and share the appropriate, with the show appropriate parties. Our elevated loading areas or zones on this project being cordoned off to restrict entry. I have seen that and we need to continue to do that. Thank you. Uh, is there any area on site uh, that the controlling contractor should be told about to eliminate potential falling object exposure? Um, obviously, we have uh, expressed this in the past. Uh, we did have a situation over here where there was somebody working above somebody. Uh, Steve, the project manager, intervened immediately and got everybody out of clear and present danger. And that's what we need you guys to do too. If there is clear and present danger, don't be afraid to act on it. We all have that power when it comes to safety. And uh, that's pretty much all I have. So I'd like to have Tom come up and uh, say a few words. Hey all. Um, I'm the company safety director. Some of you guys know me. Um, the campaign, what we're going to be doing to go. Uh, last week I went around. I saw some of you guys. I recognized you on your safe acts and handed you guys some gift cards. I'm going to continue to do that, but keep in mind, I want to recognize all the positives, but when I do recognize a negative, I will document that negative, and it will go to your company, all right? So don't take it as a wrong thing, just, just it will happen moving forward, and I need you all to pay attention and talk to all your workers, because we want to change this culture here quickly, all right? That's all I have. Thank you all. Thank you, guys. Great. Have a safe and productive work day. Appreciate all of you. Thank you, guys. Hey, JR, good seeing you.